Yeah, tell us where we're going. We're going to Dublin. Woo! <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to the Pittsburgh International Airport. We're about to hop on our first international flight since 2019. I can't even believe it. We felt like this day would never come again. Yeah, I feel like we've been dreaming about this moment for weeks and months. And are they calling us for a flight? We should, should go hop on what that is, flight. What is that? Dublin? Dublin? Here we go. That's us. <laughs> we'll see you there. The de-icing our plane right now since it's snowing in Pittsburgh in the month of April. Yep. Gotta love Pennsylvania. Well, we made it to Dublin. Just kidding. We're just in the Philadelphia airport. We had a layover, so we stopped at this Irish pub here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we stopped at this Irish pub to do a little pre-game. We arrive in Ireland at 5 a.m. their time tomorrow, so it's probably going to be a while till we hit up a pub. So if you guys haven't heard the latest news, as of yesterday, the mask mandate was just lifted on most major airlines and in airports. So it's basically up to your discretion if you wear these or not. I think for us, because we have a big trip ahead of us and we don't want to jinx ourselves, we're going to wear them in the airline and also in crowded spaces. But we're about to board our plane, so better mask up here. So we just boarded our flight. It's always our hope that that last seat will be empty. So fingers crossed. We'll see what happens. <laughs> fingers crossed. Please sit back and make yourself comfortable. Welcome aboard. Hold tight. Hold tight. Hold tight. Hold tight. Hold tight. Hold tight. It's been a privilege to have you on board American Airlines. We appreciate your flying with us. We look forward to seeing you again in the near future. Have a great day. So now we officially made it to Dublin. <laughs> So we're a little bit groggy right now because it's 12 a.m. our time. It's 5 a.m. here. Yeah, so we won't be sleeping till tonight because we have a full day planned. We got about like three hours of sleep on the plane, which, you know, hey, I'll take it. Uh, this Ate is some subpar airline food. Yeah, the airline food this time wasn't that great. We usually get kind of excited about it, but so we're gonna pop the new SIM cards in our phone, grab our luggage and grab a bus to our hotel. So we got these SIM cards off of Amazon that cover something like 30 countries. The directions are kind of sketchy. It says, if not work, please try following step. Oh no. I got a text. Welcome to three. Welcome to Ireland. Okay, I think we're on. Walk a little bit to three or four minutes and then these full stops for the city center. It's only 18 minutes to our hotel, which I think is about halfway between here and the city center. So we're in the city center now. We are starting our day off with a walking tour of Dublin. So it's a free walking tour. Yeah. We it ahead of time online and you just reserve your time slot so we set it up for 9 30 and there's a really tall structure here this is the spire the name's head one more there's a couple of different theories as to say exactly how this area here gets its name So we just wrapped up our walking tour of the city of Dublin. It was quite an extensive tour. Our tour guide took us on like a three hour tour, I think. Isn't that, wait, that's Gilligan's Island. A three <laughs> hour tour. A three hour tour. 
Anyways, back to Dublin. But yeah, the tour was great. He gave us a lot of great information on Dublin's history. So, and speaking of history, Miss Molly Malone is right behind us. Tell us about Molly. Is she even real? I yeah. I don't know. I think it's a folk tale. We don't know if she's real or not. No, I think she is real. Yeah. Well, she was a beautiful fishmonger, and there's a famous Irish song about her that is Dublin's unofficial anthem, so I don't think I've ever heard it. Oh, we'll have to play it for you. But speaking of Irish music, there's also a musician back here, so we're loving it. Yeah. But we worked up an appetite on the tour, so we found ourselves a nice little Irish pub, because what better way to kick off your time in Ireland than hitting up an Irish pub? So we're gonna go grab some lunch, some traditional Irish food. So this place is so charming. We're at O'Neill's Pub. We just ordered some Irish stew and some beers. We're just gonna hang out and warm up in here a little bit. This place is pretty much what I think of when I think of Ireland. I don't know about you. Yeah, like Laurel said, this pub is awesome. And we're here at about 1 p.m. and it's not busy at all. You can sit downstairs, upstairs, around the bar. So I think at night, this place is probably like crawling with people. They have live music every night or most nights of the week, right? Yeah, and traditional Irish dancing on Sundays, I believe. Sounds so fun. <laughs> but yeah, we're about to dig in and we're, we'll tell you what we think, but I think it's gonna be a winner. So the stew is like completely amazing. It's very peppery and yeah, it just reminds me of like a really good gravy. So it's lamb, carrots, potatoes, leeks, rosemary. But I just looked up what soda bread is because we have that with it. So soda bread rises from the gases produced during the chemical reaction between baking soda and the acids in the dough. So you got there's it. not actually soda in it. It's just what mm. it's called because of the gases. So. More you know. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, we made it to our hotel. We're tired. Yeah, we're just trying to stay awake long enough to have dinner, mm -hmm. check out the pool, and pass out <laughs> until morning. Yeah. So trying to not let the jet lag get to us, but. It's totally rough. We were on a high this morning because we're like, hey, we don't need sleep. We're in Dublin, but <laughs> yeah, it'll catch up with you. Especially after a three hour tour. A three hour <laughs> tour. No. A three hour tour. Hey, good morning, everybody. We slept so good. We woke up at about 1.30 in the morning and we were like, where am I? What time is it? <laughs> but went back to sleep and uh, woke up at 7 a.m. So I think we're past our jet lag, which is awesome. So, yeah. But, yeah. So today we're heading to the Guinness Storehouse to do the big museum tour. And I think we're gonna learn how to pour a proper pint of Guinness. So that should be really fun. It should be really fun. I've never had much experience with Guinness, but they say that the Guinness tastes the best in Ireland. So we're all for it. Yeah, it should be a great experience. But we wanted to tell you the hotel that we're staying at, we're really conveniently located between the airport and the city center. So we only took a short 10, 15 minute bus ride into the city. So we're about to hop on that bus and head to the Guinness Storehouse. If you want to see that video and the rest of our travels in Europe, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And also hit that like button that somehow helps us be favored with the YouTube algorithm and our video gets shown to more people. So yeah, definitely hit that like, subscribe, and leave us a little comment down below, and we will see you in our next video. Yeah, thanks for watching. Watch out, watch out, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> the chemical reaction between baking soda and the acids in the dough. <laughs> so Sounded like you said acids. <laughs> <laughs> that like was lame, let's do it again. Best. Yeah, Guinness is like my go-to domestic beer in, in the States, but... No, it's not. Yes, it is. Baby, you never order a Guinness. Yes, I... Anytime we're at, like, Polka Fest... Night, night. I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> Wake me up for dinner. <laughs> we just literally ate, like, an hour ago. <laughs> oh, we made it back to our hotel. We are so tired. 
Um, I say back to our hotel, Babe, but this is the most unflattering <laughs> angle I've ever seen. So it's a really nice and convenient <laughs> this location. This is the most awkward scene. <laughs> look at my head. I just look like a head on a pillow. <laughs> okay, we're done. So put me on a train, I don't care where it's going. Fly me on a plane, maybe out to Wyoming. Need an RV, no plans, just you and me. I need to go somewhere.